everybody and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine and I'm so happy to have you here. This Peach Bliss 10 inch round is the piece I will be working on today. And all of the products that you'll see me laying down in here, the stones, the glitter, etc., I got all of them from Laura's Art Corner, which you can find a link to that store in the description of this video, as well as a coupon code for that store. So definitely check that out. And later in the video, you will also see me using uh, mica pigments and pigment paste that I also got from Laura's Art Corner. asked by a return client to do a piece that was peachy and corally uh, but no pink and no gold and as a retired hairstylist anytime anybody was talking orange or yellow or red my brain always went to warm so I immediately associate with gold and this was a little bit tricky doing more silvers with the peach and the coral and also not having any pink in there either um, but Laura the owner of Laura's uh, art corner was so awesome in working with me to help me find the colors and the selection that I needed for this piece as you can see I have my edges taped around this entire piece using my masking tape and I am drizzling stone coat countertop art resin over the glitter and the stones to make sure they are all sealed down and getting a nice coat of resin over those. Sometimes they can be jagged and I just like to make sure that uh, I have them all covered and a nice smooth application going on there. Above the piece you can see all of the pigments and additives that I'm going to be using. Like I said before they are all from Laura's Art Corner um, and they are Lorez products uh, which Susanna Danks from Australia created and befriended Laura and Laura decided to uh, start a little shop here in the United States for all of us in the United States that wanted to try these wonderful products and they have been awesome. I enjoy them thoroughly. Um, these colors, the pigments, just sort of melt together and it reminds me sort of like a creamsicle and it just is so, so yummy. So again, if you are interested in any of these products, please check out the description below with links to buy. There's also a link there to Stone Coat Countertop Resins page. That is the resin I am using and that I use in all my videos. And there is a discount code for $10 off your purchase of $95 or more with them. With uh, the resin, it is very easy to do to get to that amount. A uh, similar coupon over for Laura's Art Corner. It's a $10 off coupon. Uh, and the coupon codes are down in the description. Uh, it's, it's really easy for me, I guess maybe not for everybody, but to uh, spend that kind of money on products. And you want to make sure you're spending it on good products. And I, I do firmly believe you get what you pay for, and these are definitely higher quality, and you're going to turn out more professional grade work by using these products. I do just want to take a moment here to say that uh, safety is very important. You can see I have my respirator on there. Um, when I am using resin, I always have gloves on. I have a window in my studio cracked and I have a fan going 
Um, I usually will put my respirator on once I have, I'm using my heat gun because you are putting fumes out into the air and it is very important to protect yourself uh, no matter how safe the products are that you're using. We want to really be protecting our skin and our airways. I just need to say that these triangles are amazing. My friend and fellow artist Maggie turned me on to these and they are the best for doing resin work like that because they will keep your piece elevated for drips to drip off. They're stable and yeah, they're just amazing. And you can find them down in the video description and in my Amazon store. And of course, you can find these Uni Posca markers also down in the video description and in my Amazon store. There's a link to that store in the description. I love these markers so much. I usually only pick three to four colors to use on a piece. So obviously I am using a peach, kind of a coral, a white, and silver to keep with the theme. Just adding a little bit more definition, some more depth. They're just fabulous. And here you can see the finished product. I did come in and do a second clear coat of resin over this entire piece. So after I did the markers, I retaped the back with my blue painter's tape, taped the edges again with masking tape, laid the clear resin, waited about three hours, pulled the masking tape off, and moved it around the edges of this piece. I'm very happy with how it came out, and I do believe my repeat buyer is going to be a fan as well. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come check out my Facebook group, Dryer Days Art Studio Resin and Fluid Art Group, and come check me out over on Instagram at Dryer Days. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring.